So here it is. The big one, live on the wide world of sports. And it's the uh, Sydney Roosters running left, right. With Canterbury, Stephen Price, the captain. And he's playing his 100th first grade game tonight, Anthony Minicello. Ryan Cross gets away from a couple. He'll play the ball about three metres in. And it's Craig Wing with a run down to the 30 metre line now. So the dogs are really stretched at the moment. As Bill Harrigan gives the first penalty of the game. Yeah, that was to a very the Roosters. good run there by Ryan Cross. And even better play the ball. Which allowed Craig Wing then to make a good dash. Fitzgibbon, 20 metres in, 30 metres out, it is online. <laughs> on a night when every point will count. Ricky Stewart on the sideline, played by Finch and Wing again kicking out of dummy half. And this is one of the strengths of the Sydney Roosters. Oh, oh 40, 20, that has found the line, it's a 40-20. That is a fantastic kick. And that's why Craig Wing is so dangerous for this Roosters outfit. Not only running out of dummy half, but the ability to kick. He's kicked that from about 33 metres off his own line. Got the bounce he wanted. It accelerated towards the sideline. A couple of the boys from the country put him away. Finch goes to Fittler. Fittler goes out wide. Ryan Cross loses the ball. It goes backwards. Walker throws the ball in. Goes for a speculator in Canterbury. They come away with the ball. Now it's gone from wing, and it's out to Finch, and Finch away to Minicello. Minicello looks to get some support. He finds it in Crocker. Crocker goes back to the 10-metre line. Plays the ball quickly. Here's Craig Wing again. Gets it away to Luke Rickardson. The ball goes to ground. It's still on. They will score. Hegarty gets across the line. Shannon Hegarty has scored. They just pile pressure upon pressure, and eventually the dogs have cracked. It is 6-0. 17th minute of the game. And it continues to come off quick play the balls. And then Fitler was able to get a little bit of a, a puncture in the, the line as well. Fitzgibbon from close to the touch line. It is uh, there. It is out to 8 nothing in favour of the Roosters. Well, about 29 metres out from the line. You can see that with the wide shot. Then Rickardson, Fitler. Fitler away the walk up. Walk away. And they're going in with Flannery. Flannery scores. Second try of the night. Oh, what about Fittler? He juggled it. He juggled it. Got it in. Got it away. Well, Paul mentioned at the other end of the field, it's a pet play for the Dogs, the inside pass. They go to the left-hand side. Fingertip control coming. We freeze it there. There you can see Chris Walker. He's come from this wing, and he's going to get around Fittler. The play continues. There it is. He had a bit of a juggle, Freddie. Good hands from Walker and a nice draw and pass, committed Luke Patton and Chris Flannery. Only had a couple of touches, but a very telling one. Yeah, the Bulldogs' offence here caught flat-footed, not moving up at all. Struggling to get back on side. Good quick play of the ball, especially from Morley. The Roosters in charge at the moment. And the kick from Craig Fitzgibbon adds a further two to the scoreboard. It is out to 14-0. The Roosters let it go very quickly. Penalty can't. 3 1 in favour of the Roosters. Here's a chance for Sherwin, but it's taken by Minicello. Now he starts counter punching. He's gone down towards halfway. Minicello is on the 40 metre line. He beats another one. He's still going, Minicello, and has tackled 30 metres out from the line. Todd Byrne, Byrne to the 20 metre line. Off his right foot, trying to get the ball away to Hegarty. 15 out from the line now. Well, what a penalty. Run by Minicello. Vangana oh, in a bit of trouble. Unbelievable run by uh, yeah, Minicello. The 23 metres in from the eastern touch line, 20 metres out. He's been perfect with the boot so far tonight, and again the flags are up. So Fitzgibbon takes the Roosters to a 16 0 lead. 32 minutes gone. Hold. So here's O'Mealy. He's over the line. Points for the dogs. Well, Mastery with the extras. So Hazem is online. Henry playing it back to wing. And now it's on to Finch. Then for Fittler. Fittler's pass to Walker. Caught in midair before it touches the ground. Roosters try right under the black dot. Ah, oh, 
speed, speed, speed. Chris Walker. That's why they bought him. He left South Sydney halfway through the year. He's got a combination going with Fittler now, similar to the one he had going with Lockyer. As Crocker converts the try. 22 to 6, the Roosters now. When he comes on, he, he just adds that injection of spark. Now Anasta, he finds Matthew Utai, and the little fellow is in to score. Utai scores in the southeastern corner. The second try of the night for the Dogs. And it was a bullet pass from Braith Anasta. So Masri looks to get his side 10 behind. So there's the kick, it's left the boot beautifully. Oh! He is a wonderful kicker. 22 to 12, 55 minutes. So, even though it might be serious, I think he wants to have another part of the action. As the ball is knocked down, knocked down by Canterbury, came off the chest of uh, Cross. Cross makes a very good run. Here's Walker, Walker's away. Chris Walker, he will come around and score. And uh, there's another try for the Roosters. Yeah, Bill Harrigan going to check with his touch judge. And they'll go to the video referee. Well, the Canterbury players are claiming a, a knock-on here. Watch it here. Knock down there. Now, where does it hit this player? Hits him, does it hit him on the top of the arm no, or on the chest? on the chest. That's and that's why Harrigan said play on. That'll be fine. And a couple of the Bulldogs players here, once Cross found Chris Walker, immediately turned around to say, well, you've, you've got to stop that. I think that's play on. I don't think he's... Well, he never, never hit it with his hands, never touched his hands. So that looks uh, looks okey-dokey for mine. This is game. Green light coming up. I think it's all over. And it's a try. That doesn't surprise me. And just for the benefit of our viewers that mightn't be totally conversant with the rules, it can only be a knock-on if it comes off the hand or the arm. To come off the chest or the head or any other part of the body is not a knock-on. And that's the way Bill Harrigan has ruled. The touch judge said nothing. The video referee's examination is positive as Walker goes away to score again. Oh, he's having a game, isn't he? And he took a big gamble half through throughout the year, Chris Walker. He walked out of a massive contract with South Sydney. He wanted to play in a successful club, wasn't enjoying himself there, took a gamble. He's on pittance at the Roosters. He just wanted the chance to play in a a top line rugby league side he's doing that Fitzgibbon at 26 to 12 now to convert and there it goes flags are in the air Fitzgibbon converts and it's the Roosters now out with a 28 12 lead he's tackled by Morley he plays the ball back to Patton Patton gets it away to Sherwin Sherwin's pass is long it went forward I thought to Norton Oh, that and Bill a, Harrigan agreed. That was a chance there. That was a chance. They had an overlap once again. Norton just needed to send a decent pass. From the uh, Sydney Roosters team. Now it's to Anasta. And they decide if we can't go through, we will go over. And there's stacks on the mill over there. The ball is on the ground. Canterbury appealing for a try. It's Matt Utai. And the Canterbury fans went up, that's for sure. It's been great scram scrambling defence by the Roosters. But have the doggies got a late one to give themselves some hope, some chance? Well, this is a super kick from Braith and Nasta. All the chasers are on the on side. No dramas there. Chris Walker and Matt Utai. A contest here between the two wingers. And yes, he looked like he was trying to push it back, Matt Utai. Even though he might have pushed it on to well, it's come off Chris Walker anyway. No, this is try. He's regathered. Swivels round, gets the ball down. It's a triple or what? No doubt that this is a try, will be a converted try. And can they score 10, 12 points in as many minutes? And the Sydney Roosters, 28. The Bulldogs, 18. As the ball is kicked towards centre ground. And Finch it is with the ball. He's going to put it over the sideline. That will wind the clock down completely. The siren has sounded. Bill Harrigan has called time. And the Sydney Roosters, the premiers from 2002, are through to the grand final in 2003.